Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new then welcome to my channel. I'm Cammie and today's video is going to be a topic about having another kid. Um, also, I got a new background so let me know if you guys like it. We did have the orange one um, but it kind of just didn't go with our room. Um, so yeah, let me know if you guys like that and before we get started I just want to say that any links or like social media stuff is all down below so check that out if you're interested on in following me other than YouTube so yeah um this just this kind of be a real kind of video so if you like it make sure to like comment and share of course and don't forget to subscribe so a lot of women a lot of women get questions about when they're going to have a kid or like even for me, I've already had a kid and my son is now two and my family asks and you guys ask. I get messages on Instagram about when we're going to have another kid and all of that kind of stuff. Um, I feel like people who don't have kids think having a kid is easy and it's not, you guys. It's not something that people can just whip out if you're like rich and have all the money in the world then you know maybe has as many kids as you want but in like real life for you know real people who don't have a bunch of money having a kid costs a lot and it's a lot to put on a person's body i would absolutely love to have another kid um and you know if it happened before you know my husband was ready for it to happen then we would we would figure it out just like we figured out how to do Parker and how to you know do all of the mommy and daddy stuff um but as of right now I don't think we are planning to have a kid right at this moment I'm not even sure that he wants to have another kid um but if you guys are unaware if you didn't watch my last video I did have problems with my pregnancy. I had very, very high blood pressure throughout the entire pregnancy. There was a lot of concerns for that, um, just because, you know, it's not good to be, like, stressed out and have high blood pressure while you're pregnant, but I did, and I had to take pills, um, and they, like, try different dosages and all of that kind of stuff, and it just wasn't a great experience, um, also, I mean, we didn't plan for Parker, so I feel like planning for another kid and doing all that would be super awesome and super amazing. And I, I mean, it would just be nice to like plan to have a kid, you know? Um, but it's also scary because I did have blood pressure problems during the pregnancy and was induced. Um, and you guys know, also, maybe you don't, um, I did lose my mom to heart conditions and it worries me because I did have high blood pressure that maybe I am going to inherit some of those heart conditions that she had. I mean, that's just kind of what goes on in my mind. And I really don't want to because she was in the hospital quite a bit when I was younger. And I feel like it's just because she didn't take the medicine that she was supposed to take. Um, but still, it's a, still a scary thing. And to have another kid when we already have one who is at the toddler stage which is a very very needy stage i mean all kids are needy no matter what the age is but he just turned two and we're kind of working into the terrible twos which is like a whole other thing um but he was sick yesterday and he threw up like a bunch a bunch um and then he had like a slight fever he's doing feeling better today but uh, he needed a lot of attention and he wanted snuggles and he wanted to be comforted. And me and my husband both have the same thought on this partic particular like thing. Um, so we don't want to bring another kid into the world and our son that we, you know, we had first and we, that we love so incredibly much to feel sad or to feel left out in any type of way because that's not anything that we would ever want him to feel. I truly, truly love Parker with all of my heart, and so does my husband. So, I don't know. I don't want to, you know, give all of attention to a newborn. I feel like at this time, he's, you know, not ready for that either. Not just, like, us not ready for it. 
but we just started going to the gym um and it has like a little i say daycare it's not really a daycare but it's like a small room and there's this lady who's super nice that watches any of the people who come in who bring their kids we go four times a week um and this is just kind of getting him used to being around other kids and you know having to share and do all of that because up until basically now you know i've been a stay-at-home mom i'm still a stay-at-home mom but we're not in like mommy groups we don't have i don't have any mommy friends um so he's not around kids and so we're starting to do that the first week he cried and it was really hard the second week was better of course um and we're going to continue doing that because working out with a toddler is very difficult i know some women can do it but my particular toddler crawls all over me and it's just a struggle um so that's why we joined a gym and it's not, it's not something I would, you know, I'm not going to put him in regular daycare and have him there for like two hours. I'm usually there for like 45 to an hour. And I can see him pretty much the entire time. They have an open window and I can like look in and all of that. So it's not something I feel unsafe about because daycares are, you know, can be a little something something from the news. Um... So we're doing that. We're also going to the library on Tuesdays and we're doing a story time and there they have like interactive play for 30 minutes. So we're trying to get him used to other kids and all of that because when he turns three, we would like to start some kind of sport, like a little kid's sport. Um, my husband wants him to do some kind of karate. It's a form of karate. I can't remember exactly. Um, I'll put the name in here if I can remember it. Um, but I would like like t-ball or something. I just feel like getting out of the house and doing other things with other kids is going to be really, really good for him, especially when we start going into preschool. And that's, I don't, it doesn't really have much to do with having another kid. It's just we're trying to get him associated with other kids. And I know everyone thinks that having a kid is just easy, but again, it's nine months um, on your body and going through that again. I had a lot of body changes throughout that time and honestly I'm still dealing with stuff like as of now. Um, you guys know I breastfed for about two years which was hard and difficult and a struggle and I would also like to breastfeed you know another kid that I had um, and you know that took a total on my boobies and it took a total on my body and just calories and all of that sort of thing um i lost weight i gained weight i lost some weight it was a whole thing and then we're we're it's just you know parker's our entire world and right now my husband does go to work he works full time and then two nights a week he has classes and then he also has online schooling so he is currently trying to you know get a degree for something for something better, for a different job that he's gonna enjoy. Hopefully he enjoys it. Um, nobody really ever enjoys their job, but you know, I, he wants to get a better job, better pay, all of that. And you know, adding another kid while someone is already gone for most of the day, and it would just be me again taking care of two kids would be, you know, hard. And it's, it's definitely a toll as a stay at home mom it's actually hard to be a stay-at-home mom, you guys. There's a lot of loneliness, especially if your husband or partner is gone like throughout the day working and trying to provide for you. It's a lot. Um, the kid wants to go with you everywhere. <laughs> you know, I can't take a shower unless my husband is home. I have to, you know, cook and clean and do all that stuff for Parker. And I have to make a little time for myself to do things because he gets into everything um and it's just really hard and i know that i want another kid and i know it may or may not happen in our life um it's definitely something that isn't going to happen at this exact moment unless it accidentally happens which it very well possibly could because my birth control and my period have been like out of whack and out of sync ever since having you know, Parker, it's it's been a total mess and I honestly don't know what my period is supposed to be um, because taking birth control has completely messed it up. It, it's a 
I don't like it. <laughs> um, but yeah, and right now we don't live in a very big house. I think it's like a thousand and fifty square feet. There are three bedrooms, but we basically have a living room which already has like a bunch of Parker toys in it, and there's not really room for much else and then like straight off to that there's the kitchen there's like the, the living room dining room kitchen the kitchen is very small then there's a laundry room very 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 small um and that's you know that's it for that part of the house and then there's three bedrooms and a bathroom packed on to like the rest parker does have his own room but it is not very big at all um and i really don't think that he could share it i don't think that's something I would put on him. My throat's getting all weird. And then the other bedroom is basically a junk room as of right now just because we did have Hurricane Michael here and we still don't have a shed. Um, so pretty much everything that needs to be in our shed is in that room. And it's also the cat's room. And like there was a pull-out couch in there for people who needed, but now I don't even think we can pull it out for like people who need to stay there and then we have our room and I could totally you know put the pack and play back up in our room but it's just not you guys my throat it's not what we want at this moment I would love to have another kid and I feel like every time I see a baby I get baby fever and it's really hard because um if you guys don't know I had made a a uh, video can't remember how long ago I'll link it down below about how I missed my period and I did like continuously take um pregnancy test for about like two weeks just because again my my birth control has completely messed up my period and I feel like I have a pregnancy scare every month um but while taking those it just not bleeding and like not doing all that I thought maybe hey maybe I'm pregnant and I kept getting a no, and for me, it was a little sad. Um, my husband wasn't so sad, but for me, just constantly getting that no was not something that made me excited, made me happy. So, yeah. Um, I know that I want one. I just know that timing should be better, and you should want to, you know, have all these things and be able to provide well and feel like you can do it for, you know, more than one kid or just having one kid. So, yeah, I, I mean, I know in my heart I would love to. I would love to so much. But I also know that life is going to take over and it's going to be extremely difficult and there's just things that we want as of right now. And I don't want to, you know, add a kid on top of that or push anything onto Parker because I love him so incredibly much you guys I love him so much and it's just constantly questions like even my dad is like when are you gonna have another kid and my grandparents will be like whenever she wants like mind your business because it's true it's a lot to you know as soon as I had Parker like pretty much as soon as I had Parker my sister was like pop out another kid <laughs> my dad was like have another kid just you just had one like have another like it's it's easy and it's not and then and everybody you know handles it differently so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did give it a thumbs up don't forget to like comment and subscribe again i'm just trying to be real with you guys and let you guys know what's going on what's going on through my head because i do get messages about stuff <laughs> so yeah i'll see you guys in the next video